Hey guys, what's up? Zyflin here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about Warframe's Prime Resurgence event, where DE are basically adding in this new NPC to Marie's Bazaar, and you're going to be able to take a new resource tier to purchase the relics of previously vaulted Prime Frames. Now, we're talking like really old vaulted Prime Frames, like Mag, Frost, Ember, etc. So, nothing that was recently vaulted is going to be obtainable because it was recently obtainable, but the thing with that is you're able to buy those recently vaulted the prime frames from warframe.market anyway and they're relatively cheap in terms of platinum so you can just get those from there but uh, we'll go over all of the prime frames that you're going to be able to get from this event after i explain what it is that you have to do so they're going to be adding in two new resources to the game one is a premium resource the other is a farmable resource right so the farmable resource is just aya so it's this blue one over here in the right and it's going to be farmable from the void and also from bounties and it's going to drop on the rotations where relics would normally drop right so you take this resource you go to the npc at uh, marie's bazaar and you trade it for the relics of the vaulted prime frames and then this here other premium currency over here you have to buy it with real life money you take it to the NPC and you're able to buy packs or prime accessories, prime warframes, prime weapons separately. So if we scroll down a little bit, we can see that the first rotation is launching on November 16th and the available pack is going to be Nova and Mag. And we're able to see uh, the different costs of all the items, right? So if you wanted to buy Mag Prime on our own, it would be free of the Regal IS, so that's the premium currency, uh, two for the Dakar Prime, two for the boar prime, two for the target's prime armor, and then one for the uh, extractor prime. Then with Nova prime, you've got obviously free. It's more or less the same prices for the weapons, two, and then for the accessories, two, and then the sigil for whatever reason is one instead of being, you know, two because it is kind of an accessory. But, you know, it's nice that it's one because it's a pretty dang good sigil in my opinion. You know, this is probably the best pack in the game. Uh, the Edo Prime and the, the Sigil, because a lot of people are like, how do you get the glowing thing in your Warframe whenever they see my streams and whatnot? But that's how you get it. You got to buy it with cash. So if we scroll down, you're also able to see the bundles here. I do not recommend buying the bundles. Do not buy the bundles because you get uh, 10,000 Endo, 50,000 Endo. If you were to buy, you know, your regular Prime Access, you would get Platinum instead of the... The, what's it called? The Endo, which is far more viable, val valuable, obviously. I can't speak English. But um, if we turn around the card here, you can see that this, where, this one right here gives you Mag Prime, Boar Prime, Dagger Prime, Targets Prime Armor, Distilling Extractor Prime, 10k Endo, and that is for 6 Regal Aya. And then you have the Twin Bundle, which is 50,000. So it's Vasto. It's just everything that you get from the Nova Pack just alongside the Mag Pack. And then the Nova Pack costs the exact same as the Mag Pack. So if you scroll down a little bit more, we're able to see the dates of the different uh, unvaultings, I guess you could say. So... November 16th is Mag and Nova. Up until the 23rd, we have Limbo and Trinity releasing then. Then on November 30th, we have Mesa and Hydroid. Then on the December 7th, we've got uh, Volt and Loki. December 14th, Vobin and Ash. December 21st, Oberon and Necros. Then we have Valkyr and Saren. December 28th. Then January 4th, Ember and Frost. And then we have a last chance uh, week, I guess you could say, where I'm assuming it's just going to be split. So the first four is going to be on... Uh, the last chance part one and the last four is going to be last chance part two so to earn in game we basically already went over this uh assemble the prime vanguard you need aya find this curious resources in locations where void relics usually drop exchange for void relics so you take the resource you go to the npc and then you get the relics there and then open relics for the prime parts and then that's your blue resource and then of course we have the the buy it premium resource over here on the right so here are the prices for your regal is so this is obviously in uh gbp because i'm from the uk northern ireland so 13.99 for uh free regal is so that'll get you what uh let's say you wanted to get the accessories you could get uh one pack of accessories and then the little add-on right so let's say i wanted to get the edo prime armor and the prime sigil i'd be able to spend uh 13.99 and i pick that up which isn't bad honestly um or you could just wait for Prime Accessories to come around again. It really depends how desperate you are uh, whenever it comes to wanting these accessories. Because I honestly think that the Prime Accessories pack is better value. Because you get the 90 day, uh, what is it, Affinity and uh, Resource Booster? Or is it Credit Booster? I can't remember. But you get the boosters alongside the accessories. So that is a big part of why I would recommend it to players to buy personally. But just buying the accessories, I mean... 
you do just buy accessories in a lot of other games so on that hand i'm not too against it but like for me personally, because I know that the Prime Accessories Pack is this where you can get the resources, I'd recommend just waiting for it to come around, right? You know, like if you're just a little bit patient, you're get you're gonna get more value value for your money, if I can speak English. So um yeah, again, all of the all of the things are done here as well. So you can get uh seven regal IF for twenty six point ninety nine, basically twenty seven point, and then fifteen for uh fifty three point if you're rounding up, which is you know, it's a it's a crazy price for a premium resource. I am one of the guys that recommends playing Warframe free to play, and only really spending money on like exclusive packs of like Prime accessories and maybe like the Tenocom packs and stuff like that. So um, yeah, they're they're talking about the the advantages of having a Prime Warframe over a regular Warframe. But if you've played Warframe for any amount of time, you know that these uh, differences really don't mean too much, right? So like we're talking about a health increase, which isn't that big of a deal because most people use Rolling Guard and Shield Gating. And then we have the energy increase, which is definitely nice. But, you know, you have the likes of Arcan Energize, Energizing Dash, etc., which you can use to sustain your energy. Energy buffs are always nice anyway. So FAQ, where can I find Aya? We already know that. Uh, what items can I get with Aya? In addition to Void Relics, Aya can be exchanged with uh, Varazia for ducats, as well as several Prime Gaming customizations like the Apis, Cyandana, and Necroloid bundle, and much, much more. So that's also very nice there. So it's it's good to know that this uh, resource that you're going to be able to farm isn't going to be completely useless whenever, um, what's it called, goes away, this Prime Resurgence event. So here's Varzia, where can I find her? Maru's Bazaar. Can you trade the Void Relics? You can. Do the Prime items come with inventory slots? Yes, if you purchase a Prime Warframer weapon with Regal Aya, so that's your, your premium stuff, it will come with an inventory slot and even an Orkin re Reactor or a Catalyst already installed. Can I buy Excalibur Prime? Obviously, no. Uh, are the Prime weapons and Warframes Master Rank locked? Not if you purchase it with the premium currency. Does Prime Resurgence come with Platinum? Nope, it does not. Which items are exclusive to Regal Aya? Prime accessories such as Cyandana's. So unfortunately, you cannot actually farm up the Prime accessories with the regular uh, resource that would drop in game. So you can't farm them up for free is basically what I'm saying. So that sort of sucks. Uh, where can I purchase Regal Aya? So Regal Aya, Aya is just you know, purchasable for your browser and whatnot. Uh, can you gift it to other players? Nope. So it's not like Platinum. You can't just trade it. Uh, will unused Regal Aya be refundable? Nope, it's not. What will happen to any unused Aya after the event is over? After Prime Resurgence is over, Varzia will remain in Marie's Bazaar and you'll be able to spend uh, unused Aya on selections of offerings, including ducats, customization, cu customizations, and more. And what will happen to any unused? After Prime Resurgence is over, Varzia will remain in Marie's Bazaar and you'll be able to spend unused Regal Aya on items such as Prime Gaming, Exclusive Gear, Prime Weapons, and many others so that's a wrap that is pretty much it my opinion on it is um like i said um i would personally wait for prime accessories to come around because of the boosters right i think that adds a lot of value to the uh the prime accessories pack of course i think prime accessories costs a little bit more than if you were to just buy the regal aya here so the deal isn't too bad and if you want to just straight up buy the cosmetics definitely go for it um but i wouldn't recommend buying the warframes and weapons because they're farmable right it obviously depends on how much time you've got in your hands but if we were to just go through and take a look at like all the different prime weapons that you're gonna get with these uh warframes and stuff like that prime weapon i don't want to say that prime weapons are obsolete but there's definitely better weapons in the game though right then the can of prime is worth picking up but you'll be able to farm that the reaper prime is worth picking up you're going to be able to farm that as well uh mesa prime is obviously worth picking up serum prime is obviously worth worth picking up necros prime worth picking up um nova prime potentially vault prime definitely because he's really good for eidolons and whatnot so there's a lot of weapons that are going to be good, but I wouldn't recommend spend, spending money on them. And then the same goes for frames. Uh, if you can farm it, why spend the money? You know, that type of thing. And then, yeah, that's that's pretty much my take on it. it it's not too big of a deal, in my opinion. It's just kind of weird that they um, did it with a premium currency. Why don't why didn't they just make it so that like if you wanted to buy it, you just bought it? You know, um, I, I could make an entire video in of itself talking about the 
the priming uh or the prime vault right because I, I find it hard especially as a warframe youtuber you'd think it'd be a little bit easier for me but i find it hard to keep up with the uh prime unvolting and stuff like that and this uh event thing is apparently meant to like alleviate it in a sense but i mean i guess i guess it works right like it's just you sort of have to plan whatever the uh the primes are going to be coming out right so i'm assuming you're only going to be able to farm nova and mag for the week off right so realistically the strat is to just keep on running those uh missions to get the aya to farm as many relics as possible and then open the relics after the event type of thing because you will eventually get them if you have enough relics right so that's what i'd recommend doing but anyway guys that is going to be it for this video uh like the video if you liked it subscribe for more warframe content check out the patreon for early access to some of my videos and uh i will see you guys in the next one